What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. We got a 1970 Chevelle here. This one's got power steering, power brakes, nice little cam, 350 under the hood. Disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear, oversized aftermarket American racing wheels. It's a beautiful car, and what I like to do is take them down the road, point out flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. Check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping, detailed pictures, and all of our rides are updated every Monday at 11. For now, hit subscribe, share. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. And before we leave, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. We're gonna be placing bets on the horn, so we'll be thinking about that. We do that on the channel here, because it seems like 50% of them don't work. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Package tray here, good shape. Headliner in the corner there, needs a little bit of work. You can see the fabric hanging, but throughout the car, it's in pretty good shape. Your visor's there, looks like you got a little tear. Somebody got aggressive, I guess. Uh, the old mirror here with the old glass, you can see it's pitted. Coming across the dash, decent shape. Glove box. Door panel over here, showing signs of wear. Start her up. She sounds awesome, holding 40 pounds of oil pressure. Had a little pop from the carburetor just then. She's still pretty cold. Radio is not cutting on, blower motor. Is it doing anything, does it work at all? Does not work. Wipers, wipers work. We're good on the rain. Turn signal's popping up on both sides of the dash. So this car's showing 32,000 miles. I can't stand behind that because this is a 70 model. It's not the original motor. I believe it was a 69 model motor. All right, guys, what about the horns? You place your bets? Hey, that's one of those 50% that don't work. Let's hit the road. Okay, I was getting ready to take off, but I didn't have a seat belt. So I guess we're living on the edge. You ready? My buddy Cameron's gonna go for a ride with us today. He showed up to the lot. He probably helped me out getting a little bit more of these videos done faster. Anything I see, I will let you know. With that being said, we're going to the gas station because we may run out of gas. You may have to push me, man. Oh, I got you. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Let's roll. Shift kit in this one, speedo is way off. They probably did a rear end gear. I'd say for sure, it feels like it's pulling pretty hard. Shift down for me. Kickdown's not hooked up, brakes feel pretty, pretty good actually. So we'll just manually shift it down there, all the way down. up into neutral Nick let's check these brakes out <laughs> had a little chirp in the second there like I said speedo is not correct they said we were doing like 80 a minute ago we definitely was not as far as going straight this thing has been going dead on nice steering suspensions so far is pretty smooth I haven't hit any big bumps there's one right here yeah we just floated over that Nice. Yeah, kick down is not hooked up on this one. Like I said, manually shift down there and do the same thing. He may take our spot, guys. But it's alright, we'll go to the sun. All right, I'm gonna get about $20 worth of gas in this ride, and I'll see you here in a moment. We know the gas gauge isn't working. All the way to the full mark. Be right back. All right, up at the gas station, I put $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride, and this is where you put it in, right here behind the tag. Old little rusty plate here. Spring's good. Let's go ahead and jump in here, get her started up, and roll out. Gas gauge definitely didn't work. It held all of the $20, no problem. Starts up pretty good. 
Sounds good. Let's take off. So far so good. I noticed a little tire rub, but I mean, oversized aftermarket wheels tends to happen. Uh, it can't be fixed, fenders can be rolled, or you can change the tire size. Let's head on back to the car lot now. We're gonna be doing picking out the flaws towards the end of the video. That's where I walk around the car, look at the lower panels, check for rust, dents, scratches, bondo, etc. Look at the interior, listen to the motor, and then we'll call it a video. And of course, if you like this, hit subscribe. Let's take off. Pretty strong shift kit. You get them R's up, it'll hit the chirp again. We'll do that somewhere safe. <laughs> it's got a generator light on. This thing has an alternator, so that's probably not going to cut off. As far as running and driving, this is a good cruiser. Uh, it's got a little bit of a power. It's, you know, no race car by any means, but you still can get out of the way, have a little fun with it. Plus, it sounds pretty mean. Back in the brakes. I keep slipping it up in there, man. <laughs> that sounded bad. <laughs> I was trying to be gentle that time. That's even worse. <laughs> but seriously, I kept slip. The second time I've slipped it up in a neutral accident. Oh, there he is. We did it a little soon, didn't we? Good thing he didn't see us. slightly want to try that again but I'm just gonna leave it in drive this time and see what happens of course a Ford gets in the way <laughs> only saying that because I'm driving a Chevrolet <laughs> I have nothing against Ford
waiting on some of this four o'clock traffic. We got another Chevelle to test drive. As soon as we get to the line, all 68. And it'll be coming up next. You'll see it on the channel here. Guys, if you want to see stuff that's currently available, look in the playlist section. I set it all up for you. That way you can see them all. And every week I update that. You can also see current inventory at maplemotors.com. A nice grab there. And of course, in between uh, Maple Motors and Brian's Motorsports, which you need to check out, you've got all these different places you can come eat food. You got the pawn shop, the Main Street Pub, all local beers and stuff. I really like pawn shops, so they definitely go to the pawn shop. They got a lot of guns in there. Of course, this is Tennessee. All right, I'm gonna pull back in here, and we're gonna be switching over to picking out the flaws. Stick around. C10 truck. I need to do it, but I ain't gonna have time to do it today. I have to get her done on Monday. I'm gonna park this here. We're doing a little, little different this time. When I get done with that Chevelle, I'm gonna park it there, knock out both of these walk arounds. Get our thumbnail. Thanks, guys back at the lot and now we're going to be picking out the flaws walking around this ride looking for chips scratches rust whatever i can find look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com well let's get started coming up on the front end the bumper on this one has some pitting in it not perfect light little scuffs some scratches chips here and there the paint on this one's not perfect either you got little spots little orange peel here and there coming across the grill a little bit up here in the front down these lower portions little spots there tires are in good shape up and over a little chip there the bottom here you got orange peel in this section a little spot here here rust in the corner of the door Little chip there chips down here at the bottom paints peeling there light scratch right here you got a spot right here in the panel back that midsection front fender's a little wavy up there little spot here a flat spot there blemish here as well pitting on your door handle spot in the paint a flat spot right in the middle of the door light scratch coming across the top here all the way up and it's real wavy through here you can see the blemishes orange peel top the fender there light scratches missing the trim that goes around up here on top of the hood chips front windshield's got scratches as well I don't see any big cracks. That's a good thing. Trim looks tight. Little dings here and there. Looks like where they put it on, got a little rough with it. Like scratch up top. Looks like a box slid across the top all the way to the back. That's a guess. Seals need to be replaced too. See them crumbling there. Hey, you got Playboy locks trim here pitted see a lot of flaws back in here as well too with the paint 
bad prep there. The back here, it's all fitted up on the bumper. See the rust coming through where the bolts are. A little bit here, this jam here that holds your weather strip and is also rusting. The seal's new. It, it knew her. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Little spot there. Your trunk. Uh, it's been spattered for sure. You can see little holes here and there. This over here. This way it's rusted on this side. Doesn't look like they did anything with these panels here. The package tray, solid. Edges of your trunk lid here. A little crumbly there. Also some rust there. On the edge here too. Always check all the way around on these trunk lids just to make sure. I'm down with it. You can see it kind of coming through too. Chips on the back here. Tires a good shape, trim around the fender well looks high. Right. On the bottom, you got some paint peeling off, light blemishes in the corner of the door. Light chips, paint peeling off. Rust right up in here, hasn't been fixed. Back that mid section, you've got orange peel again. It's just a cheap paint job on this car. I think what somebody did is they just went back over it, sprayed over some of these rust spots. I haven't seen any Bondo, but definitely got rust coming through. Light scratches, fitting on your door handle. This is solid. This usually would rust out because water comes down, gets caught. I noticed the package tray was still solid. Trim looks good around the back window. Bubbles right here with the paint. Spots on your pillar. Fitting on your mirror. And of course your seals are gone. Weather stripping's gone over here on this. Uh, driver's side as well front windshield a light scratch across the whole thing from windshield wiper down here as well overspray but it's solid down in there and somebody burned through the paint right here with buffer all right made it around the ride let's check out the inside all right opening up the door panel here Door panel's in decent shape. You do got a little bit of the dye coming off. Weather stripping's gone. Looking around the edge of the door here. Oh, that may have already been worked on in the past. Definitely has. Coming on down. You got a little crusty in the jam there. It's coming from here around the seat on this one got a little rip here little tear there looks like they used to be red but yeah this interior was red tears in the seat 
Carpet's okay. It's not bad. Doesn't look bad at all. Then around the interior some more. Back seat, package tray. Headliner's hanging a little bit over there. This side's not as bad. Looking at your dash. Pretty good shape. Door panel over here has definitely got some issues. Passenger seat, pretty clean. Carburetor's got a little bit of a pop to it every once in a while. I'll let this car cool down. Because I took that one on a test drive and came back to do a walk arounds on both of them. So yeah, she's pretty cool right now. of the hood are good looks like you just got some old paint kind of flaking off here and there coming down with the hood stiff shaker there he goes coming down pretty easy now lock ship right there this didn't seem like it was working during the test drive not hooked up Light scratches in the middle of the hood here, real light. Should buff out. Chip right here on the edge. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep making them for you. I point out all the flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. You can also check out maplemotors.com. I have financing, shipping, detailed pictures, and all of our inventories updated every Monday at 11. That's your best chance to pick a ride up from us. If you wait till later in the week to look at it, most of the time you'll see something that you'll like and you'll call us and it'll either be on hold or sold. If you've been watching the channel, you'll understand that. And of course, I make these videos ahead of time. Today is Friday and it's already past closing time. I'm just gonna stay up here for a little while, try to finish some of this for y'all. So nobody should buy this before Monday, but I'll have it listed, check it out. Look at the playlist here on YouTube. That way you can see all the stuff currently available. And also check maplemotors.com. That is very important. We do mark the car sold as they sell. Later, guys.